just celebrate all our virtual members if you can put those hands together for them I'll mention but a few Shane Olatoye watching from Nigeria Efosa from UK Oladamala from Canada Fumilola Johnson from Chicago come and go ahead and give God praise give God praise give him all the praise give him all the thanks Lord we thank you Jesus be thou exalted Jesus and it's important that you clap for yourself can you please clap for yourself if you can amen hallelujah amen again I want to thank pastor for giving me the privilege to bring God's word this morning I want to thank all the ministers pastor Sinamdi pastor Namdi, and everyone thank you so much of course as you already know our theme for the month of August is intercessions intercessions And our topic for today is an interesting one. It's a question actually. It says, whose report will you believe? Whose report will you believe? Our text is from Isaiah 53 verse 1. It says, who had believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? That's King James Version. The message version says, who believes what we've heard and seen? Who will have taught God's saving power will look like this? Whose report will you believe? Now the voice version says, Indeed, who would ever believe it? Who would possibly accept what we've been told? Who has witnessed the awesome power and plan of the eternal in action? Whose report will you believe? It's a question I'm asking everyone else this morning. When you are down, when it looks like all hope is lost, when it's like there's no way out, especially when the devil is still whispering failure, how would you react to Joel 2.25, which says, and I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten, the canker worm, and the caterpillar and the palmer worms my great army which i sent amongst you whose report will you believe somebody say i will believe the report of the lord now listen one of the factors capable of holding us back as believers as christians capable of tying us down capable of creating fear in us capable of blindfolding us from seeing god's good reports and his promises even when it doesn't look like it is what the memories of past defeat the memories of past defeat will not make you thrive again you get a job today you lose it the following week you get a precious gift today and the next day it's gone you prepare for an exam you fail just when you thought you have closed up a deal and then a client makes a u-turn the symptom is gone today and all of a sudden you begin to feel it again the scholarship looks so good but all of a sudden you lose it all these memories of defeat has a way of holding us down in all of this whose report will you believe i want you to pray a prayer say lord please blot out every memory of defeat in my life can we pray that prayer in the name of Jesus? Say, Lord, please blot out every memory of past defeat that is stopping me from believing in you again. Every memory of past defeat, Lord, please blot it out. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Listen, where your memory is clouded with defeat, the devil inculcates words of failure into you. When your memory is clouded with defeat, most times we make this thing like, I will just go and try again. It's not like I will make it. Your, the devil inculcates in us words of failure. The devil sets you up to think a win is not possible. You know when the Bible says, when the Lord restored his captives to Zion, they were like them, that dream. It was like a dream. This is an impossible thing. How is it happening again? Listen, in 2 Kings chapter 6, Samaria was under a siege. That's a bad report. There was famine in the land of Samaria. That's another bad report. A donkey's head sold for 80 shekels of silver. Now, that's a bad report. Now, to, even, to, to make you understand that, 
is the fact that a donkey was regarded as an unclean animal and never to be eaten. Now, to place a high value of the least edible part of the, don of the, of the donkey, which is the head, was the height of it. Donkey's head. I'm not saying you see who. <laughs> because somebody's like, ah. <laughs> no worry, if you don't understand you see you have not missed anything. <laughs> A corner of cup of seed port sold for five shekels. That's a bad report. In verse 29, a woman cooked her son and ate it with her friend. That's a bad report. The king heard and tore his royal robe for sackcloth. That's a bad report. Look at all the things going on. Yet, somebody say yet. In 2 Kings 7, Elisha said, Hear the word of the Lord. This is what the Lord says about this time tomorrow. A seer of flour will sell for a shekel and two seers of barley for a shekel at the gate of Samaria. Now, what are the bad reports confronting you? Immigration, marriage, health, job, children. Can you declare the word of the Lord against it now? Declare God's word against it. Declare God's word against it. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Now, the officer who, whose arm the king was leaning on was seeing all these bad reports. You won't blame him. And that was why he said, look, even if the Lord should open the floodgates of heaven, could this happen? And Elisha, Elisha said, you will see it, but you will not eat of it. Now, the mistake that man made was the fact that Elisha didn't say, hear my word. Elisha said, hear the word of the Lord. This is what the Lord says. Somebody say, I will believe the report of the Lord. Now, at times, some reports thrown at us says, you can't make it. It's too late. No one ever came out of it alive. You will be deported. Nothing good will come, come out of this. Just give up. The probability of success is zero. Now, when you are confronted with such bad reports, it's the time to go to Isaiah 54 verse 17 and says, No weapon fashioned against me shall prosper. Psalm 34 verse 19, Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered them from out of up. Psalms 121, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills, for hence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. Now, situations and circumstances shall surely gather. But because the gathering is not of the Lord, they shall surely scatter. When you are confronted with those bad reports, it is the time to turn to Psalm 91 and says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress my god in him will i trust surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fallen and from the noisome pestilence he shall cover me with the with feathers and under his wings shall thou trust his trust shall be my shield and buckler verse 5 thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night nor for the arrow that flyeth by day nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at the right hand but it shall not come whose report whose report will you believe listen whose report will you believe we shall believe the report of the lord why because his name is above every other name the Bible says in Philippians 2, 9 to 11, it says, Wherefore God also had highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth, and that every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Can you think of a name to call this God? I'm asking you, can you think of a name to call this God? Then go ahead, call him those names. Call him, let him hear you. Let him hear you. Emmanuel, Abba Father, 
Messiah, Adonai, Jehovah see the Kenu, Jehovah make a dish came. Call him, call him those loose names. The advocate, the light of God, Jesus Christ, the strong tower, the eternal God, the hope of glory, the mediator, our counselor, our helper, great God, mighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, whose report will you believe? We shall believe the report of the Lord. Why? Because he is the compassionate God. The Bible says in Isaiah 53 verse 5, but he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him and by his wounds we are healed. That's why Wale Adenuga sang a song that says, Lord, because of me, you gave up your life at the cross on Calvary. What more can I say? What else can I do than to praise, than to praise you for all my heart singing, hallelujah. Listen, whose report will you believe? We shall believe the report of the Lord. Why? Because he is the chain breaker. The Bible says in Psalms 107, 13 to 14, Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them from their distress. He brought them out of darkness, the utter darkness, and broke away their chains. No wonder, Nathan Abbasi said, The words you speak, from things around, Your are stretched and has lifted me. You took away the chains and cords that held me down listen listen whose report will you believe we shall believe the report of the lord why because he is the beginning and the end the bible says in john 1 1 in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god you must have heard oftentimes brought images saying above you is you Jesus you are, you are the only one in your class before you is you Jesus you are the only one in your class whose report will you believe we shall believe the report of the Lord why because he is the only living God the Bible says in Jeremiah 10, verse 10a, But the Lord is the true God. He is the living God and an everlasting king. No wonder Sinat said, Every other God, they are better than dead. Jesus died and rose again. We lift him higher. In your name, every knee shall bow. In your name, all men that say, Call upon the name, so call his name, Jesus. Call his name, Jesus. Call his name, Jesus. Oh, oh Jesus. Whose report will you believe? We shall believe the report of the Lord. Why? His name moves mountains and causes wars to fall. The Bible says in Hebrews 11.30 By faith, the walls of Jericho fell after the army had marched around them seven days. And you move mountains and you cause walls to fall with, with your, your power perform miracles there is nothing that's in Of the Lord, why? 
why he is the God of grace. The Bible says in Acts 4 7, for unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. No wonder, no one, I just said, I can see. Oh, I, I can, can tell, and I know it's your grace for my days. I will see your grace. Hallelujah. Ah, Whose report do you believe? We shall believe the report of the Lord. Why? Because his name is my fortifier. The Bible says in Proverbs 18.10 The name of the Lord is a fortified tower. The righteous run to it and are saved. My wife wrote a song and said I am fortified by the blood of Jesus My life depends on Him believe the report of the Lord. Why? Because his name is Yahweh. The Bible says in Exodus 3 14 and God said unto Moses I am that I am and he said so shall thou say unto the children of Israel I am has sent me unto you. Just to me all over wrote that says Yahweh that's what I call you Yahweh committed and consistent God the Bible says in Numbers 23 19 God is not a man that he should lie nor a son of man that he should repent has he said and will he not do it or has he spoken and will he not make it good no wonder Moses simply said you are too committed to leave me you are too consistent to leave me halfway what, what you, you said, said you wanna see it, and I come to testify. You're too faithful to fail me. Whose report will you believe? We shall believe the report of the Lord. Why? His thing is God alone. Listen, when your leftover is over, Jehovah takes over. Psalms 18, 31 to 32 says, The Lord alone is God. God alone is our defense. He is the God who makes me strong, who makes my pathway safe. No wonder William McDowell says, You are, you are God. not alone from before time began. Part of the Lord, why he is the God of yesterday, today, and tomorrow. The Bible says in Hebrews 13 8, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. No wonder, Rook Cabinet wrote, God of yesterday, God of today. You 
Whose report will you believe? We shall believe the report of the Lord. Why is our peace? Yes. The Bible says in Philippians 4, 6-7, the message version, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank you for all he has done. Then you will experience God's peace which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guide your heart and mind as you live in Christ. Jesus. No wonder the late Leonel Peterson said, Peace when, when trouble blows Jehovah sees Jehovah knows He is my peace when sorrow I believe the report of the Lord. Why? Because his name is mercy. Yeah. Titus 3 5 says he saved us not because of righteous things we had done, but because of his mercy. He saved us through the washing of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit. No wonder CC1 says mercy. mercy say no. I'm not gonna let you go. I'm not gonna let you sleep away. of the Lord. Why? Because his goodness overflows. Yeah. For whatever reason. Psalm 27 by 13 says yet I am confident I will see the Lord's goodness while I am here in the land of the living. No wonder the Bethel music wrote your, your goodness, goodness is, is running after is running after me hey. your goodness is running His name is the awesome and mighty God. The Bible says in Deuteronomy 10, 17, For the Lord your God is the God of gods and the Lord of lords, the great, the mighty, and the awesome God, who does not show partiality nor take a bribe. No wonder, Rotsi Awana wrote, Awesome God, mighty God, awesome God, mighty God, awesome God. Because of the Lord. Why? Because his name is, listen, the never late God. But if he decides to come late, he comes big. Genesis 18 14 says, Is anything too hard for the Lord? At the time appointed, I will return unto thee according to the time of life, and Sarah shall have a son. Listen, in this church, I have seen a couple who waited for 10 years to have a set of twins. Two girls in this church. I know a man who waited for 11 years to have a baby girl. In this church, oh. I know a couple who waited for, for 23 years Hallelujah. to have a child. And for that, Badu wrote, she said, When people think you're late, late that's, that's when you come real big. Jesus, I thank you. I believe the report of the Lord. Why is indeed the redemption power? Yeah. Colossians 1 12 to 14 says, Giving thanks unto the Father which had made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. 
who are delivered us from the power of darkness and are translated us into the kingdom of his dear son in whom we have redemption through his blood even the forgiveness of sins pastor Tundebado wrote redemption redemption power from jesus my redeemer he shed his blood and covered Lord, why the name Jesus is the answer to every question? Yeah. The Bible says in Jeremiah 33, verse 3 Listen, call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. In other words, he says, Ask me any questions, I will answer. No wonder, and the coach wrote, Jesus, Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no other Jesus is the way Jesus is the answer For the world today Above him there's no other Jesus is the way Finally, whose report will you believe? In the year 2004, in the year 2004, my wife told me that, look, I know you want to marry me, but the doctor said I may never have a child. It didn't make any sense to me. I'm like, no. But because she wanted to be honest, she took me to the, port, to the doctor in Port Harcourt, and he's actually a pastor. And he told me by himself that, look, the possibility of her having children, just forget it. So you have to make up your mind. But we went into that in faith. She took him. After three months, the baby died in her womb. So they evacuated the baby. So the report of the doctor was now ringing in my head. Wow. The doctor said it. So it's actually real. After the evacuation, she took him again. I got confused. But they said she would never have. Throughout that pregnancy, she was bleeding almost every day. But that same boy today is 15. And afterwards, we had our second child. And not too long ago, about three years, I think a, little, a year after COVID, the doctor, that pastor in Port Harcourt, came to King's Palace. He sat down here with his wife. I didn't even know his face. My wife called me. Do you remember that doctor? I said, yes, that's him. I said, wow. I said, go and call Tehillah and Shabak. <laughs> Whose report will you believe? Let's declare, we shall believe the report of the Lord. Whose report will you believe? We shall believe the report of the Lord. Whose report will you believe? We shall believe the report of the Lord. Whose report will you believe? We shall believe the report of the Lord. Just go ahead and worship this God.